Do you know what these are? Do you know what these are? I'm not going to tell you this video. I'm going to wait and make you come back to next month's vlog, and then I'll tell you what these are. You can guess. If you ever guess this correctly in the comments, gets a shout out on next month's vlog. What happened in August? Well, school started back for us. That meant every kid coming back to school, vaccinated or no, because some of them just aren't old enough, so we are masked, masked, masked. Uh, and my color coders, so I, I went and spent 60 something dollars at Office Max to get colored paper so my students could keep up with the different syllabi and standards for their grades. Yes, I'm a big color cutter. As you can probably tell, I have a demo table in my room, and my mom gave me this beautiful quilt made by our ancestors. I talked to my students about proportionality and geometric shapes, so this came in quite handy while we were talking about that. It's not all heavy duty stuff. I bought this eight ball for my students to use as just a fun thing to do when we talked about decision making. We compared our decision making steps to the eight ball and found out that the eight ball was just for fun. I sent my little grandsons a message from work, and I have a new grandson, and I watched his flowers grow. He's wonderful. He's beautiful. I went to the gym and had some setbacks with the, my hip on the squat and the deadlift, but my bench is going up surprisingly, so unexpected. And yes, what's better for leg day than chicken, fried chicken? And I am on a quest about finding the best chili cheese fries in town. So I started off at Jefferson's and they were really, really good. Then I went to Buffalo Wild Wings where they have, I think they're called Dirty Tots or something like that. But they're really loaded up. I fancied my leftovers up a little bit. I put some Sweet Baby Ray's, is that how you say it? I think that's what it is. Barbecue sauce on it, some Sargento's cheddar cheese, baked it for a little bit, and then broiled it. It is so yummy. I know this because this is my third set. It has been a while, but yes, pizza, pizza. I got one scoop of ice cream while I was waiting on my pizza. The ice cream was mm, so so, the pizza was yum, yum. And it just, just been raining so much out here, I decided to take a chance on a car wash. Please don't rain, please don't rain, please don't rain today. I have a lot of packages to open. Vitamins. And plans for school. Shoes for school. Sandals. Three sets of blocks because I'm spelling out my littles' names and they have a lot of E's and R's in their names and those happen to be on the same block. So I had to buy, I think, six sets in order to spell all their names. And this is some of the second real money that I've invested in my powerlifting. I bought myself a, a good belt and I've been wearing just like shoes from TJ Maxx for the most part, shoe department. But I finally invested and bought myself a pair of wrist straps and a pair of knee straps. Powerlifting. A new flat iron. Manage this hair. We're going to test it out and see if it works is from my awesome friend Rachel who's also on my advisory committee. She bought more gloves for my students to use in our food labs. Yay. Oh, I'm adding toys to the toy chest for the children. Since school started I've had to cut back on my YouTube videos but I'm still trying to knock some out. I'm posting some of my problem solvers, like the um, hose faucet splitter. I found an iron holder that solved my problem. Got myself some new gloves. Bought myself some new 
pants will work. I love these pants. I bought a bunch last year. They just don't have a lot of my size this year. And I love these little cardigan drape things because you can just sling them on. Wear them when it's too cold in the room and then take them off. And they don't take up a lot of space in my bag. And I bought the best curling iron that I've ever had. So if you haven't seen these videos, go back on my channel and watch the ones that are of interest to you. I'm just still trying to put good content out there. And the bad news is the deferment on the student loans is going to kick back in in January. I have managed to save some money while they've had the deferment because my student loans are very, very high because I had to borrow a lot of money to get my doctorate degree. I paid over half of it off, though, with scholarships and just buckling down. And have you ever worked for someone who is incompetent? There is a business principle called the Peter Principle. that says the members of a hierarchy or corporation or business are promoted until they reach the level where they're no longer competent. So if they're a good sales associate, then they promote them to become sales leader. And if they're good at being a sales leader, they're going to promote them to be sales manager, at which they suck. And that's where they stay, and the whole business just falls apart. Because people are doing jobs they're not suited to do. But nevertheless, I have a wonderful place, and I like to vacation at my house. Sorry, little dude, I'm the dominant species here. You're going to have to go. Thank you for watching my useless vlog for August. If you've got time to watch another video before you go, give this useless vlog a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and leave a comment if you know what that stuff is from the beginning of the video. Here, I'll show it to you again. Do you know what these are? Do you know what these are? I'm not going to tell you this video. I'm going to wait and make you come back to next month's vlog and then I'll tell you what these are. You can guess. Whoever guesses correctly in the comments gets a shout out on next month's vlog.